Rahul, I love plants. They are everywhere around us. Yes, Meenu. But do you know that there are some plants which are found in one region but not in another? Really? Yes. For example, cactus is found in hot and dry places such as deserts. And coconut tree is found in places with strong winds and high humidity. But deserts are very hot and coastal regions have strong winds blowing all day. Then how do these plants survive there? They have certain body features and habits that help them to live in that particular surroundings. This is called adaptation. Friends, like Meenu, you must also be wondering how plants live in deserts and coastal regions. Let us go to a desert and find out about the adaptations in desert plants. Hey, here we are in a desert. It's so hot and dry with sandy soil as it receives very little rainfall. The plants that grow in a desert are adapted to growing in hot, dry conditions with little available water. I can see some cactus plants at the distance. Let us go there and find out how cactus grows in deserts. You know that plants lose water through their leaves. In cactus, the leaves are reduced to spines, which prevents loss of water. The stem of the cactus is green. The green stem makes food for the plant. The spines present on the stem protect the plants from grazing animals. And what about the roots? The roots of cactus do not go deep into the soil. They remain close to the surface so that they are able to absorb rainwater even when there is less rain. Hey, it's getting dark. You know the flowers of the cactus bloom at night to avoid the heat of the day. So, this is how cactus lives easily in deserts. Now let us go to a coastal region and find how plants live in the coastal regions. Wow, what a cold breeze! Hey, we are in a coastal region. Do you know that the plants growing in warm coastal regions have to adapt to strong winds, sandy soils, bright sunlight, very high humidity in the air and heavy rainfall? Hey, look at these big coconuts. These are the fruits of the coconut tree. This fruit is covered by hard shell that protects the fruit from damage. Large fruits remain afloat in seawater for many days and can give rise to new plants on reaching the shore. Now, have a look at the leaves of the coconut tree. The leaves are formed of long strips to face the strong winds. You will be surprised to know that these plants have flexible stem. When storms occur, the stems bend and when the storm is over, they become erect again. And what about their roots? Coconut trees have long roots that go deep into the soil and firmly anchor the plant. So, this is how the coconut tree survives easily in coastal regions. <laughs>